Hello everyone. I'm in a very special area of Long Island, very close to the Hummingbird Sanctuary, uh, which is the Grandifolia Sandhills. Uh, this is a, an unusual fact, globally rare, dwarf maritime beech forest um, on the bluffs. Uh, which are to my right, and I can see Long Island Sound over there and the beach. Um, but uh, there's another beach right behind me, this fellow here, and uh, another one back there, and hundreds of them everywhere, uh, with a few other trees dotted in here, a few maples whose leaves are turning red. Uh, red maples and uh, here is a magnificent white oak uh, and as you get closer to the bluff these trees get more and more stunted by the prevailing northwest winds especially in winter um, I've had a lot of them already uh, but today it's calm and fairly warm considering it's late October, near the end of October. So this is a, a very beautiful area, uh, very few traces of human beings. Um, once I get up beyond the beach, all the trash disappears, the ruts disappear, there's really no sign of humanity other than planes going overhead. I've chosen a period when I hope there are not too many planes. Uh, we may have to stop filming uh, if, uh, if our planes come over. So it's difficult to know how best to show you this whole area. Um, I've done quite a bit of filming already this morning showing some of the smaller dwarf beech trees as we get closer to, to the bluff. This is a, a wonderful flat area uh, near the top of the bluff. And over there, uh, there are dozens of these uh, beech trees. And as they get closer to the water and more exposed to the wind, they get shorter and shorter. And in some cases, they grow right down to the toe of the bluff. Um, so uh, I'm going to be doing more filming here. It's a, a wonderful day. In, late fall, the leaves are turning colour everywhere. But this beach is still green, but some of them, as we close to the bluff again, are already a brilliant uh, golden colour. And uh, this is one of my favourite places on Long Island. Uh, there's a long history behind it. There's a lot to tell you about the unusual geology here. Uh, basically, we're dealing with something unusual on Long Island, even in North America, and these are perch sand dunes. Uh, they were f formed at the end of the last ice age, um, which deposited this ridge of sand and rock, terminal moraine. This is the, uh, the Harbor Hill moraine, which goes all the way out to Orient Point. Um, and as uh, the glacier sh shrank, it uh, left behind this basin, which is now Long Island Sound. And initially, it was not completely covered in water. There were large sandy areas exposed by the retreating glacier. And it's thought that um, it was a period of very strong winds which blew across the sound and led to the accumulation of sand dunes perched on top of the bluffs themselves. So the bluffs themselves consist of sand of various sizes mixed in with pebbles, uh, stones, rocks, even big boulders. So it's called glacial till. It's a, a real mixture of every possible size. But a sand dune, which is deposited by the wind, is quite different. A 
the, the sand there is much more uniform and fine than you find in glacial fills. And um, for some reason, it was particularly conducive to the growth of these beech trees. Um, and they have grown on top of these perch dunes. In addition, uh, many of the perch dunes have a what's called a parab parabolic shape um, uh, and uh, a very steep curve. Uh, and uh, they can migrate uh, inland as a result of the prevailing winds, although they are temporarily stabilized by the growing vegetation and the trees. So there's a, a dynamic balance uh, which uh, leads to the shape of the dunes, this parabolic shape, and also the dunes gradually move inwards and that within historical records uh, are accounts of the moving sands invading and even covering houses here on this part of Long Island. And they were most marked here uh, because um, the sound is at its widest here. So the reach of the wind blowing across the bare bed of Long Island Sound was the greatest and this led to this accumulation of perch sand dunes. Well, anyway, there's a little bit of a geology lesson as far as I understand it. There's a lot more to the story than that because also, of course, there's unusual fauna here, animals, birds, and uh, unusual uh, flora. But I want you just to enjoy this tiny glimpse you're seeing of the beauty of the Grand Bifolia sand hills. It's been largely obliterated and damaged in very recent years. It's incredible loss. This area was in some ways Long Island's Yosemite, uh, the most beautiful part of Long Island. It still is, but it's a remnant of its former splendor. Uh, but I'm going to try and give you more of a feel for what, it, what it's like to be up here uh, you can walk up from the beach um, and there are little narrow valleys uh, along the bluff which give you access to, to the Grand Sand Sandhills. So, enjoy!